Good morning and welcome to our vacation vlog. I'm so excited. We just arrived at the airport. <laughs> Riley's giving me keys so I can turn the car on if I want because he is running to go buy um, or rent one of the carts, a luggage cart because we have quite a bit of luggage and we have car seats and strollers and just everything. So he's gonna go take care of that and then bring it back here and then we will load up and head inside, check all of our stuff and then hopefully go get a cup of coffee and maybe some breakfast before we fly out. It's about 9 a.m. here on Saturday. You might be able to hear the planes in the background and um, our flight is at 10.45, so we have about an hour and 45 minutes to get everything done and get through security. Um, and then our flight is two hours and 55 minutes from here, which is Dallas Love Field Airport, over to um, Norfolk Airport in, um, in Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia. And then from Norfolk, we have to rent a car, and we will be driving 90 minutes to the Outer Banks to Duck, which is where we are vacationing for the week. So... Welcome to it. We are so, so, so excited. It's been a very smooth morning so far. Um, as soon as we get this luggage cart, we can get loaded up and get inside. Come along with us for our week at the beach. All right, we've got the two kids here. Hi, Kali. And Nora, and Nora's carry-on here. And we've got our four suitcases, and Daddy with the passy in his mouth, and the... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my stars. Um, but we are good to go. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? You see an airplane? Yeah, I did. Whoa. <laughs> have landed here in Norfolk, Virginia. This airport's so funny, it feels like a library or something. Um, I don't know, it just has an interesting feel to it. But anyway, we are here safely. Our flight went really well. We're going to pick up our luggage and um, get our rental car. And then we'll be on the way to the beach. Right, Colin? Nora, where are we going? I did it, Papa, your house. We're going to pop up in Grammy's house. <laughs> That's right. I am sitting in the back seat with the kids. It's been a very long travel day. So the last time that I checked in, we were waiting for the rental car. And we found out that there were several, quite a few other groups that had been waiting for their rental cars for three to four hours. So at that point we started shopping around at the other rental car desks and we went ahead and canceled the reservation that we had made and we were fortunately able to find to find a car, the vehicle that we were in, which is a Ford Edge. It's really nice. Um, and so we canceled our reservation and went with this instead because waiting three to four hours was just not a viable option with these two little ones. So we left the airport, got in our rental car, um, we picked up some burgers and fries for dinner, so we ate that on the drive. Colin had a huge blowout, so we stopped and cleaned that up, changed his clothes, the whole nine yards, and we have been in this vehicle now for close to two hours. Um, we knew that as soon as you get onto the Outer Banks, after you cross the bridge, it's just kind of a gridlock. Um, and so we're just sitting in that gridlock and we are only have six more miles to go, but it's going to be 37 more minutes um, just because it's so there's so much traffic. So we are just taking it one moment at a time, you know, watching videos on my phone and I'm talk sitting in the back talking to the kids. Nora's eating some French fries left over and, you know, we're just making the best of it. But we will be there in about 40 minutes, and I cannot wait. How are you feeling, Riley? Ready to get there. Yeah. 
definitely ready to get there. It's been about a 12 hour travel day at this point. We got up around 6.30 and it's 7 p.m. now, so, but it's worth it. And we get to be here for eight days and seven nights, which makes it super worth it because it's not like we're turning around and doing all this the opposite direction in just a couple of days. We get like a full solid good week here. And then, <laughs> then we have to do all this again on the way home. Somehow the way home always feels a little bit smoother, but anyway. That's what we were up to. I will check in with you guys once we arrive at the house. My parents are already there, and they actually have Henry with them because, because my sister and her husband and their newborn, Eliza, are all at one of my sister's dear friend's weddings that happens to be, I think it's in Richmond, Virginia, so it's relatively close. Anyway, I'm rambling now because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of being in this car. We're officially here. Welcome to Duck, everyone. Nora, we're in Duck. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are officially in the cute, cute, cute town of Duck. Mama, you like wow. it? And we are just driving through. <laughs> Collins. We're going, um, Nora keeps saying, we're going to pop up in Grammy's house. Yes, we are. They're already there. So many cute little shops here, little restaurants. It's just like a an adorable beachy, beachy town. You excited, Nora? Yeah. We are here, finally. It is so nice to be here. This rental property is just incredible. Truly right out the door. We are right onto the beach. I will show you it in a moment. I thought I would give you a little house tour, a little beach rental tour while it's still relatively clean. You'll see we haven't quite unpacked yet, but I have opened up the kids suitcase to get Colin's pajamas out because by this point it's just about bedtime. So let me show you around briefly and we'll probably bump into everyone as I do so, except for my sister, her husband, and their baby because like I said, they're at a wedding tonight and they will drive here tomorrow. So here we go. So this is my and Riley's room, all of our massive luggage over there. And um, if you saw my packing vlog, my hat made it perfectly, looks great. Um, and then this is our bathroom, hello. It is very nice, I love the large shower. And the double sinks are definitely a nice touch. And then as I showed you, out the door, is the walkway right up to the beach. So it's just lovely. And there's a closet over there, a TV and a dresser. And then we have our Guava Lotus um, pack and play that Colin will sleep in. And the stairs go upstairs. So it's one of the floor plans that's pretty common at the beach where the bedrooms are downstairs and the main living space is upstairs because the better view is upstairs. So you get to all enjoy it. In here, there is a little laundry room. And then, I don't know what this is. Oh, just a little closet. I don't think I ever opened this up last year. Here is Henry and Nora's little room. They have bunk beds. Everybody say hello. Hello. Hello, there's Henry. Nora's got all comfy and there's a bed in here. And I believe there's a bathroom. Another nice bathroom in here. Yeah, really hot. Oh, Grammy, you want to say hello? What? Hi, everyone! <laughs> Welcome to the Menzel vacation. We are land. here. Slash 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 yeah, for everybody. Hey, where are you going? I'm showing the house. As soon as I get on, you walk away. <laughs> you know, everybody would love for you to have your own YouTube channel. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, my baby. <laughs> Let me show you my home. Oh, perfect. We don't actually own this place, but maybe one day we'll own some kind of waterfront property or beachside property. <laughs> This you is, yours? I did, I just did. This is Allie and Tommy's bedroom and baby Eliza's. And there's their, their walkway. So this all attaches. Ours is the same. Oh, you're so good about telling everybody what's going on. Oh, thank you, Mom. And they have this really neat shelf. I wish we had something like this in our room. Oh. That's really nice they for it? unpacking. Yeah, last year they used it. And then... They have the bathtub, so we will bathe the kids in here. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. And then... Doesn't the other one have a bathtub, too? Mine? No. No. This oh. is the only bathtub in the whole house, unless yours yours doesn't upstairs, does it? 
No, no one's welcome in ours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's ours. <laughs> these things, Your these babies, they had come in <laughs> ours. Look at Kali. Oh, hi, Kali. Wait, hi, we just had dinner. We're getting ready to put on PJs and good night night. Got some Roros. Yeah, some Cheerios teeth. He's got tons of Holy teeth. Holy moly. Okay, so let's go upstairs. That's your bed. So here is sort of the side door, but we end up using it as the main door with going out to all the decking. What? So heading upstairs. This is the main living area. And there's this little nook with all of these windows looking out to the ocean. Is this not gorgeous? This is where we drank our coffee every morning last year. And it was just so lovely. Look at it outside. Gorgeous. And then over here is a nice big table. And then there's a smaller table over here that's great for playing like board games or card games. There's a couple of loungy chairs and then there's an outdoor table. Look at this view, can you believe it? It's just amazing. Oh, this one says, please use other door. So I will do so. They have a high chair provided. And then this is the kitchen. It's a lovely kitchen. The funny thing about this bar is you can't push your food too far or it will fall all the way down. <laughs> um, but we did that big Instacart order I was talking about in my vlog two weeks ago. It's all in here. And we got loaded up for the week. Snacks, snacks on snacks. Show them this, this is the This is so fun. Did fun you get thing. that at Costco? I got it at Costco and it's all you do is add ice cream. And it's the Hershey syrup and caramel and marshmallows, crushed Oreos, uh, gummy bears, waffle cones, M&Ms, and sprinkles. We did it last year in the summer. It was so fun. Like all the adults loved it. Yeah, that looks really fun. It's really fun. My mom made one of her famous chocolate cakes for us to enjoy throughout the, well, for Father's Day, right? That was kind of the idea. Chocolate chip cake. Yes, so yummy. So it's a lovely kitchen. And then this is my parents' room. So this is considered like the main bedroom because it's upstairs. Um, but they actually don't have a walkway out to the beach. They have a view of kind of like the neighborhood. It's beautiful though. And then let's show their bathroom. Where's the lights? So they have double sinks as well. And then also a nice large shower. And they have the special edition of water closet in theirs, which we don't have in, uh, nobody else does. Um, and then if, because I just said that, I remember that this is actually just a little powder room as well. So that is the house. Okay, so here's out this door. Look at this. Is so this beautiful. not just like picture perfect? It's really windy. So, whoa, sorry, mom. So I'm gonna stand back here so that the wind isn't too strong. Listen, you can probably hear the wind here. Whoa. I'm gonna back up. When I stand by the house, it blocks it. Um, but you can see all the beach walkways, including ours. Oh, it's so good to be here. And then you can just see some of the other vacation homes in the area. And they do have some chairs out here as well. After a very long day of travel, we are so glad to be here. Um, we need to get these kids ready for bed because it's quite late already. Ouch. We do have the benefit of it being, oh no, we don't have the benefit. We have the opposite of a benefit that it's an hour later here um, than it is in Texas. So it's, oh my gosh, it's almost nine o'clock already. Um, so we're going to unpack. Here's, hi, honey. We're gonna unpack and then it's gonna be bedtime. You ready to go tonight? No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to go tonight. Let's get, um, let's get you and Let's get you and Nora in your jammies. Oh, ready? Colin, you're getting your pajamas on. You're getting your pajamas on. Okay, so we have all of this unpacking to do. So I'm gonna do it as quickly as possible. Set up Colin's pack and play and nurse him down. 
get Nora ready. All of it. All right, we just got ourselves all unpacked. So we have quite a few things sitting on top of the dresser for easy access. And then we have the kids' clothes and our clothes in here. We have the laundry bag. This is available in my shop that we use for laundry when we travel. And then a very packed up. These are all hand-me-downs from Nora to baby Eliza. A very, very packed up um, closet. And then we have a sound machine and a pack and play for Colin with his baby blanket. And Grammy's hanging out over here with Kali Bali. That, that was a very, very long travel day. I'm stepping out of our room because it's pretty loud in there. A very long travel day, but we are here and unpacked and so excited to be here. So, <sighs> hooray. I think I'm actually going to wrap up this vlog now and um, do a whole separate vlog for tomorrow because here comes Nora because um, I think this has been quite long. My skin still not totally healed, you see? If you've been following along, you already know. Um, <clears throat> but I am going to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for following along with us on our travel day from Texas to the Outer Banks. Okay. Um, it is high time for us to get these kiddos to bed and we are quite tired ourselves. It was a long, like I said, long travel day. Can't wait to see my sister and brother-in-law and little niecey Eliza tomorrow. Um, but until then, I hope you guys are doing really well and I will see you soon. Thanks for coming along with us today.